Okay. So our initial setup works somewhat all right, where the URLs are matching whatever we set up there with nested routes. But the problem is the result. We keep seeing all the time the homepage. So how we can fix that and how we can also set up a shared layout. Well, we need to go to the parent, in our case, home, and import outlet, the outlet component. And then we just need to display this outlet component. And whatever we'll set up around this outlet component is going to be the shared layout across the pages that are nested inside of the parent. And then the actual page content will be displayed here in the outlet one. And I think it's going to make a little bit more sense if we set it up. And that way you'll right away see what I'm talking about. So let me go to home JS, we want to grab this outlet component. And the position is really up to you. Again, you'll see once we add navbar that of course, however you set up this return, that is going to be how your shared layout is going to look like. Now I'm not going to keep this link. I think we're good to go. So I'm going to go with outlet. And now once I save, actually, I see this home page. So at the moment, this will be shared all across the pages. But I nicely also see the about page. And if I'm going to navigate to a product, same deal, I still see this home page. So this one is shared all across these nested pages. And also I see the actual content from the products page. So now we can put two and two together. If this is shared all across the nested pages, why don't we set up the nav bar? and add some links. And as a result, we'll be able to navigate from page to page from home to about and to the product. Now in order to set that up, we need to go with new component. So I'll set up the components folder. And in there, I'll create navbar JS. And we want to import a link one. And then let's set up the nav, then let's import that in the home JS. And again, whatever return you set up over here. That's how all those pages will be displayed. So if you do decide, let's say underneath the section to set up a footer, you can definitely do so again, this is going to be that shared layout all across the pages. And don't worry, the home page, the actual uh, parent is gonna look somewhat funky. We'll work on that one next. So first, let's worry about the nav bar. And I want to do that by navigating here. Please don't set this one up on the finals, because it's already there, we have the components. So in the source, I want to create actually not a new file, I want to create a new folder components. And this, of course, also showcases that, of course, like I said, in all of the components in the pages, we can use other components, because they're just good old regular components. I'll set up navbar JS. Now there's going to be one more file, because I'll show you the active link as well. But let's not worry about it right now. I'm using this extension to create my component. This is going to be navbar. Like I said, I do want to get the link. So let me close the sidebar here. I'll say link from, and then I'm looking for React Router DOM. And then we want to go with a nav. Now I did add a little bit of styling in the CSS. That's why I'll add here class name, navbar. And then we just want to set up the links. Now I will set up links for about products and homepage, but we might add one more for login one a little bit later. So let's go here with link to this is going to be to the homepage. And then let's add a text, let's copy and paste. Now this one will be to about page again, whatever pages you have. So in our case, we have about and products as well as the homepage. Let's set up about, let's set up over here product. And now we want to navigate to the home one and import that nav bar. So let's go with import nav bar. And basically, we want to get the component. And like I keep saying, whatever structure we will set up 
over here is going to be the result in the browser. So I don't want to keep this section right now as it is. Instead, I'm going to go with React Fragment since we need to return one element. Then I'll place a nav bar on the top. After that, I will remove this home page. And then let me bring this section up. So I'll display the nav bar like so with these links. And in here, in the section, I will have that outlet. Basically, whatever we have inside of the page. So whatever we have in the about in the product, essentially all the pages that we have nested. And as a result, notice, not only I display the contents of the about page, or the products page, but we also have the number. So if you want to add a footer, go ahead. Most likely you'll want to do that beneath the section. And with this in place, now we can set up the index page because at the moment, if we navigate here, nothing is displayed. So let's fix that in the next video.